Greetings, friends. It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush. And this time I have something very different, not a collage, but what would you do with your artwork once you've created it? I put them on some royalty sites. This one is Redbubble. Now, there are hundreds of them out there. This is just one of many. And the first thing you would do is to create your uh, your page, your password, and your ID. And remember, there is no cost to you on these sites. Matter of fact, they pay you for the privilege of using your artwork on their merchandise. And these are just some of the things that are already on there, um, recently viewed. And so there is my page up there at the top. I have, you know, some, some lists, some favorites. I favored some people. You can do that. It's almost like a social network. But now let's load something on. This is my dashboard. It just gives you a bunch of things to do um, and to read. These are some of the things I've already got loaded on here, as you can see. And they are on some merchandise. And my username on this is Paint Drips, if you ever wanted to look me up on Redbubble. And favor some of my work, that'd be lovely. Some things I am going to delete, and um, it has been a while since I have maintained this site. What happens is, things that have not been viewed in a while kind of drift down to the bottom of the barrel, and those things that you load most recently raise to the top. So you do want to create new things, um, rearrange things, do edits, it makes a big difference to your site, to whether or not your pieces are actually getting viewed. Remember, there's thousands of pieces of artwork on this site from hundreds of other artists. And so, here I'm going to add a piece. Okay, so I'm going to load the artwork now. Um, I have it in a file in an external drive. And I have already saved this piece of watercolor as a PNG file. I took it to Photoshop and I cut out the white background so it would be just the flower and no background. PNG saves it with a transparent background, and that's kind of what you want to load onto t-shirts and things like that. So I have to give it a title. I'm calling it Pink Watercolor Tea Rose. And then you want to make some tags. Tags are very important. Um, they are for when people are searching. You're, say you're non-artist and they just want, hey, a pink flower, they type that in. Hopefully your tags will have enabled your flower to pop up. So I called it, you know, a rosebud, um, pretty flower, pink rose, tea rose. I gave it as many uh, tags as I could think of and separate each of your tag title groups of words with a comma and that's what that's what works best then you want to give it a description um, this is you know just a description for how you made it or when you made it or why you made it in my case I made it as a, a watercolor demonstration for an art group 
And that's just, you know, this, this is just extra. You don't really, you know, have to have a description, but sometimes it helps people to um, think of it as something, you know, special. Now here is how it's going to look. The hat there, you see the rose is cut off, so I'm going to go to edit and fix that by sliding it down to a smaller percentage on the scale. And and that will fit better. So apply the change and go back up to where the hat is. There it is. See that fits better. All of these say they're disabled, but that doesn't mean they have to stay that way. I'm going to enable them if I like them. But first I'm going to edit. This one doesn't fit quite right, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. I could bring it down a little if I wanted. They go back up and hit the disabled button, and now it is green. It is enabled. The same with the t-shirt dress. And that one, the graphic tee, that looks good. The A-line dress stickers and magnets I like those that looks good the phone case no 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 that's just not right I could make it smaller but that's not exactly what you want so I'm moving it over so that the big part of the rose the big rose is what's going to be most visible and even at that you see it's still cut off quite a bit so I'm gonna go back and make it a little smaller. I mean I want the rose to be the you know prominent thing even on a phone case. See now I like that much better. Desk mats. Now if you look at that the flower is at 100 percent. That's as big as it's going to get. And it's just a lone, lonely flower. But I can do something else. Redbubble allows me to choose a pattern. A lot of the other sites do not have this, which is a shame because that would be great. So you can make the pattern into a offset grid or a regular grid. You could make it smaller so the 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 pattern. See, that's a regular grid. That's an offset grid where the flowers are um, offset. See, I like that. That works. The mouse pad needs to be a bit smaller and centered. There you go. And that's how the mouse pad, the patches, laptop, skins, sleeves, all those now this is not just a shower curtain, but duvets and comforters and shower curtains. They're going to apply this same edit to all of those. So I'm going to make a pattern, maybe a little bit smaller. See now, I think that works. And apply the changes. And then you can go look at it and enable it. That's a nice shower curtain. Dog mats. It's amazing all the things that they put <laughs> your artwork on. Remember, you do not have to enable it. If you don't like it, you don't have to agree to have it printed on that item. You are in charge. You're in charge of how it looks, how the design works. If it doesn't work, you don't have to agree to it. So the cat mat, I think that works. Pet blanket, I'm going to make a pattern on the pet blanket as well. So after this, you can see that it gets a little redundant. You're doing the same thing over and over again, editing what you like and what you don't like. 
I want this to fit on the mug, yes, but I don't want it to be all leaves and no flower. So I have moved it down and cut the leaves off, applied changes, and you see, I think that works better for the mug. Now the pet bandana, I'm not going to enable it. I, I just, yeah, I don't think it works. There's the scarves. I think that's kind of pretty. Tablet cases and skins. A little smaller. And that, I think that's nice. Drawstring bag, definitely smaller and centered. That works. enable and now spiral notebooks this is where uh, like the phone case you can either make it really small or you can just concentrate on one of the flowers and not both or you can make a grid and add two or three which i think that actually works better on a notebook than um, no I, I'm gonna leave it as yeah they're a regular grid and save the changes see that that makes a nice notebook hardcover journal I want you to notice on the hardcover journal there is a line down the middle that's the the spine of the book when it folds the little rosebud will be the cover and the big flower will be the back cover. Clock. I like the clock, but I want my flower smaller. And now I should apply and see how it looks on the clock. There it is. That's not bad. acrylic blocks and coasters these acrylic blocks look like uh, paperweights they're very pretty actually and throw blankets and tapestries also I'm going to make a pattern on that one See, I wouldn't mind having a throw blanket that looks like that. that that's quite nice. I'm going to enable the bath mat because I actually I like it even though it looks a little small there. The water bottle that needs some editing. And I think I'm just going to move it down and cut off the leaves rather than the top of the flower. The wood canvas, um, because see, that's just a wood and a canvas and mounted prints. No, it's just not big enough and it's not gonna work. I'm not gonna enable it, but I do like the canvas bag if I make this rose a little smaller. Their printing is really quite good. It is pretty close to the natural colors that you load. Um, not perfect, of course, anytime they print something that came off of a computer digital image. It's not gonna be perfection, but not bad. See, now the pin buttons just, it looks like it fits, but it's really not fitting and even now it's better but you got better leaves than flowers so I'm going to pull it down and I don't mind cutting off the leaves there see the flowers look better masks 
They have face masks and what can I say, they're very popular right now. So I enabled that. Aprons, I like the apron. Remember, you can also add words um, to your original artwork to have printed. I decided not to enable the jigsaw puzzle. The only way it would work is if you put a pattern and that's just mean to have the same flower printed over and over again on a jigsaw puzzle. I didn't think that would work really. Phone wallet. Also, because it's a wallet, it's going to be folded in half. So the bud will be the front cover and the big flower will be the back cover on the phone wallet. And now a mini skirt. Now, <laughs> I have to say a word about this because I edited it the flowers so that it it looked like it works see that looks like it fits just fine and I applied the changes and thought um, on their drawing that looks okay but <laughs> later when you see it on the model well that makes all the difference See, there's the mini skirt. That looks okay. I I enabled it. You know, later on, you're going to see that that doesn't look okay. Now, here are the um, leggings. I made a pattern, made it quite small. So it's just roses, roses, roses. I think that works. I wouldn't mind wearing a pair of leggings like that. that that's nice. So I'm enabling that and the socks. Same thing, I'm gonna make it into a pattern. And of course make the pattern a little smaller. And the backpack. Now, when you see it um, in its parts, it looks ridiculous to chop the rose up that way. So I made a pattern and tried to center the rose right in the middle of the uh, main piece, the backpack piece. The straps, it doesn't matter as much. But now when you look at the backpack, the rose is centered. Oh, that looks pretty good. The same with the duffel bag. Just one rose, that's just not going to do it. But the pattern... If I make it smaller and pull the roses up so that there's one rose centered in the middle of each of the round end pieces, Oh, that looks nice. You see? That's a nice duffel bag. And the same with this fitted mask. I'm going to fix it also. You see, this is quite redundant. This is what all of the sites do. They'll show you how the merchandise looks, and they'll let you edit how it, how it looks in, in the end, how it fits. And it's not until you're happy and publish it that they can actually sell it. And there it is. Those are all the pieces I've enabled and edited. And now I have to go down and, well, they want me to check two media. I put a painting and, um, and a drawing. Check two. Yeah. Then I have collections, my own collections. This one's under watercolor paintings. Then I have to um, make sure that it does not have mature content, mm, not lingerie or anything like that. Yes, it is nice. And then agree to their, uh, their terms. 
obviously. And safe. And so here it is, they're saving my work, my edits, my process. The last thing you would want to do on a site like this is um, give them where you want your royalty money sent. And it's probably best to use a PayPal account or a Venmo or something like that, not your direct checking account, just for, you know, security purposes but these guys are quite secure and very um, reputable here's how it looks with the actual models the, the things that you okayed on t-shirts you know there's a reglan sleeve there uh, regular t-shirts hoodies the t-shirts come in many colors the customer can choose tank tops dresses sweatshirts there's the leggings and then here is the mini skirt now that just looks ridiculous no no that is not working for me oh no And so I'm going to go back and edit it. You see, even after you have published the work, it is on there. You can go back up to the top and click edit and edit some more if you don't like how it looks. Now I'm scrolling too fast for the machine to catch up with me, so I have to wait a minute. There we go. Well, more like a second. And go down to where the mini skirt is. There it is. And I click edit. And it's, uh, the edit's underneath. I didn't see it. There it is. And so now this time I'm going to create a pattern. A very small pattern. Maybe even smaller. Mm, no. That works. I, I think that's that works pretty good so save that go back down to the bottom yeah that that looks better go back to the bottom and click save your work of course first you have to agree to their terms again and then save the work there it is being processed And, ta-da! They'll show you everything you've agreed to. I like that mouse pad. That's nice. And again, the t-shirts. And there's the mini skirt. Now that looks better, really. Phone cases, you see the phone wallet folded in half. Mugs, clocks, bedspreads. See, I may even go back and make that bedspread pattern much smaller. That's a bit large. I still like that duffel bag. And so that's it. That's how it looks. We're just about done. And after you click on, uh, you, you add your PayPal account, you are ready to receive royalty. They all automatically set it for about 10% above the uh, merchandise price. So thank you so much for watching. I sure appreciate everyone appreciate everyone who um, subscribes to my channel and I hope this was informative come again next time
Bye, everyone.